In this example, we have a binomial uh, expansion. We have an x cubed term as the first term and an x as the second term. And we're asked to find some information about, or we're given some information about a constant, which means all the x's cancel. So we're going to find the possible values of p. Now, the, the constant is going to be 5103. From the formula booklet, we know that n choose r is this thing to the 8 minus r and p over x to the r. So what you want is for all of the x's to cancel, right? This one is 3 times that one, right? So there's a couple different ways. I'll do it an algebraic way. We'll do a little bit of side working. So 24 minus 3r times x to the minus r has got to be x to the 0. Okay, let's talk that through a bit. When we do a power to a power, right, these multiply. And here, x to the r, if you bring this x to the r here up, it becomes x to the minus r. You want the constant term, so you want this is x to the 0, right? We don't write it, but that's the constant. So therefore, 24 minus 3r, when you have the same base, you add the exponents. So we end up with 24 minus 4r equals 0, adding 4r to both sides, dividing by 4. We can see that r equals um, 6. Okay. So that gives us, that gives us 8 choose 6, x to the 3 over 2 to the power of 8 minus 6, which is 2, p over x to the 2, big, sorry, to the power of 6, oh my. Of course, r is 6, those things need to match up. And this is going to equal 5103. Okay, so what you see here is you get x to the 6 over x to the 6 cancelling. We need to know what 8 choose 6 is, so we go to math and then probability. Number 3, where 8 choose 6, so we end up with 28. Now you have x to the 6 over 2 squared is 4. p to the 6 over x to the 6, expanding this. 5103. So what you can see is that these x to the 6 is disappear, which is exactly what you wanted to happen. 28 divided by 4 is 7. So now you have 7 p to the 6 equals 5103. Basic equation to solve. Divide both sides by 7. 5103 divided by 7 gives us 729. This is a power of 6, so now what we need for p is we need to take the 6 root of each side. That you can find in the math menu. Here's the x th root, number 5. So we want the 6th root of 729. And that works out really nicely to be 3, completing the answer. right? I can walk through it here again, maybe in black. If we have a look at an alternative method here, right from the start, you know that you're going to have 8 choose something. I'm just going to leave it blank. And then you have x cubed over 2, something here, something here, and p over x, something here, equals the constant. All right. So the traditional approach is using this algebra to solve it. But we also know that this is three times of that. So you know that this number is going to be small. The two, these two boxes need to add to 8. So if you deduce that this is 6 and this is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 and 6 add up to 8. And then you know from the formula booklet that this goes here. By the symmetry of Pascal's triangle, you could have used 2 as well. But let's stick to the IB and use 
the pattern that they have. Now you can see for sure that these x to the sixes are going to disappear, and you can go from this black line immediately to here and carry on the working. So you save the red if you think logically about it. However, the red will always get you the answer, thinking about the power and what you want to happen at the end of the day.